my flesh. If you kill her with a bolt off of the ceiling, which we did, she falls. So I want to die. I don't want to die. Nightbot might want to die. Nightbot's contesting Ekenbot. I think this should do it. Outsider's bones. I think we got them all. Unless the lady fell off the roof again, like a dingus. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, she's okay. She's all good. So we're gonna save it. We're gonna check. Make sure we didn't kill anybody. We didn't. And then we're gonna save it. Awesome. I think there's another rune in here as well. Oh no, but there's some incendiary bolts which we don't need at all. And then I also want to go investigate this other... Oh, that's the building with the bodies. Hmm. Nothing? Hmm. I'll take a look around. Ooh, she almost saw me. That was almost bad. We need to maintain stealth at all points. We can't be running around like that because there's just too many people here. Let's shut this door. So we were just up here. And we could go through this whole building and walk through there, but we're all instead we're gonna go through this elevator lift. To do that, we need bodies. Because for some reason they made their elevator shaft, or their freight lift, only hold a certain number of people, strangely enough. But it will only go up if there's four people on it. Or the equivalent weight of four people, I guess I should say. Nice. Alright. And up we go. All of these snoring, unconscious people. Okay, let's scout ahead again. Oh, there's an envisioned over there? The hell, it's, walk it's walking around in the real world? That's strange. This is not how it usually goes. If we are truly fortunate to experience the passage of Envision twice in one day. Let's see if let's see what happens if we just blow them all up. That didn't work. There we go. And that shouldn't have killed them. Yeah. Although I kind of, you know what, we're going to load back. 
for like five seconds and get try and get all three of those guys. We're gonna save scum. Uh, we still didn't get them. Dang it. Oh no, we got them. a great test to see if, if it counts as us seeing us as it's seeing us it does count as us seeing us, as it's seeing us so we have to be very very careful okay, so let's load back again and i want to see if we can get this envisioned again it doesn't look like you can pull them with the And look, those bombs don't blow them up either. Wow. This is going to be very hard. So I think basically we can't even be seen by them ever. We can't attack them. Nothing. Sorry, bear with us. We, we are sciencing it up right now. Can they only see what's in the game? Being witnessed by stone. Alright. Shouldn't be. Damn. That's this is gonna be rough. Check our other bone charm real quick. F5! F5! <laughs> F5 for science? Hell yeah. Let's see what we just got. I believe it was hardiness? We don't really need any of those. All of the F5s he can bot. That's right. So there's our primary objective. I'm not sure if it's better to go around this way or down that path. We're gonna we're gonna try both. As we're in here, we're going to be continually scouting ahead because there are a lot of enemies and we need to make sure we aggro as few as possible. All right, we got all of those. There should be two guys in here, if I remember correctly, just talking. Damn it. I think they actually just saw us. No, they didn't. Okay. We should be able to 
hook her in with one of these grenades as she walks towards us. There she goes. And that knocks her out. They all have bone charms. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. And now he sleeps in the ritual home. Grilled in the crushing grip of the void itself. And he will sleep for... The void would hunger and roil, and the world itself would shudder. Forbidden. Can oh. worth looking into. I cannot believe he saw us. Okay. That's okay. F5, F5. Let's go ahead and mark both these guys. Translation and linguistic. It's a pity, really. He was a true scholar. We found What's all this? This is rough, Chad. This is rough, Eakin. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through it together. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna... I'm going to have a look around. We're just gonna do this the classic way of just shooting one of them and jumping to the next one. Uh, it seems like that's gonna be the easiest way. We're trying to get creative with all of our different devices, but there's, there's really no need to. Forbidden could be worth looking into. Long discussions on ancient translation and It's a pity, really. He was a true scholar. I wouldn't praise him too loudly. He violated the highest commandments of our society. The ritual hold is forbidden to us, as you well know. Is he dead? Help, fellow seekers. A face instead of the endless gun. Okay. Got one. Yep. And then this guy, I think, will walk out here to check where we are. And when he does, he'll get hooked in, like that. Perfect. And then she is facing that way, so we might be able to just jump, jump to her and grab her. Okay, so this is the forbidden entry area. This is, we get this quest, um, this key, when we actually do enter the void. And when we go in there, we're able to find out the outsider's name. And I think that's key to figuring out how to get rid of him without actually killing him. So we're definitely gonna wanna do that quest. Interesting. If we had our wire cutter from from Wolfenstein, we could get through here. That would be nice. I don't think we can squeeze through here with this. Yeah, we can. 
And there's no rat tunnels or anything. We actually have to find the key, I believe. Yeah, okay. Okay, so real quick, we're gonna just finish looting everything in here. There's a poet who writes stuff down about the void. He's kind of crazy. And there's the eye. That's how we're gonna enter the void here in a second. Okay, now we're gonna make our way over to the actual eye itself. And again, try to remain unseen as much as possible. Well. We are going to remain unseen, because that's the entire point of this playthrough. <laughs> Shindere Mines. That's where we currently are. We're in a... Oh, okay. Yeah, this actually doesn't go anywhere. We're in a... Unknown part of Shindere Mines. Oh, wow. We almost missed this guy completely. One there, one there. Let's try just blinking up to this pipe. And just never interacting with these guys. There's four of them there. I'm not sure if we can get past them without... Oh, there's no one looking now. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's this way. I forget. I forget. The whalebone feels warm. So we should be able to just I jump. Can feel it through the fabric. So comforting. This guy is has a direct line of sight to where we want to go, so we can't jump that way. Let's try walking all the way around over to this bridge. Oh, we can actually jump to that. Someone there? Nothing? Uh, no oh, they didn't see us. I'll take a nice. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, let's scout all these guys out so we make sure they don't see us as well. There's another one right here. The problem with not killing these guys this this go around though is that it's going to be much more difficult to get back through here when we actually do enter the void because they remain where they are. All right, real quick, I'm going to take a quick bio break. I will be right back and we will go into the void. And we're back. He is not here. Good. F5. <laughs> what? Are you, what? Ekenbot, you can't F5. Only I can F5. There is quite a few people over here. And we need to be very careful. What? My work How do they see us? Now F5. 
purposes on this Ethan Bot can tell the future. <laughs> Jesus. They saw me from all the way across that ravine area. That's kind of crazy. Sometimes I wish I had never felt the draw to study the forbidden, to transgress. Mm -hmm. We're gonna let our mana read general quick. Uh, You'll die at the hands of a servant of the outside. So he he saw us right as we were about to blink forward, and we didn't get to regen enough mana before we actually had to blink forward, and that way we couldn't do our second blink to get out of their line of sight before we could do the second one. Before they saw us, essentially. Like that! There we go, very nice. Okay, so now we need to keep in mind that these people can see us across the way. So as soon as we get up to the top here, Like that. I think they saw us. Okay, so this is... We're gonna have to load back a little farther than we actually wanted to there. Be right here would be good. Yeah. These people are, since we're playing on a really high difficulty, these people are very, very perceptive. Actually, let's... I think we should take the back one out first and shoot the one in front. I think that'll be the, the best option. We're getting there. We are almost to the void. And then the really hard part starts because, oh, oops. This is fine, whatever. Because once we're in the void, those creatures start to spawn all around us and we're not even sure how their aggro system works. Oh. 